Amon Good, one of the most evil human beings I have ever looked into. Amon was a Nazi officer during World War II. He was born December the 11th, 1908 in Vienna, Austria, Hungary, which is now Austria. Amon is infamous for his role as the commandant of the Krakusz Płaszów concentration camp in Germany occupied Poland. As the commandant of Płaszów, Amon was responsible for overseeing many atrocities, the brutal treatment of the prisoners at the camp, and the murder of thousands of Jewish people. Due to his command of the camp, it became known for its extremely sadistic, cruel practices. Now you may recognize this man's name from Hollywood because he was depicted in the 1993 movie Schindler's List. He was played by Ralph Fiennes who of course famously played Voldemort. The movie was directed by Steven Spielberg and in the movie his violent tendencies were certainly depicted but when you look into what this man did in real life, oh my goodness, it's some of the most heinous things I've ever read in my entire life. So much so, I'm going to give you a warning here, because what I'm about to tell you is nothing short of disturbing. A survivor of the camp gave a testimony to what he saw this man do, and one of the things he saw this man do was when they used to round up the Jewish prisoners in the mornings, one morning a boy had diarrhea, and he was unable to control himself. He relieved himself all over the floor. Now what Ammon done was he got the boy to eat the feces off of the floor. When the boy was finished eating his own feces, the commandant put a gun to the boy's head and pulled the trigger, killing the boy dead. He also, one morning when he was lining up all of the Jewish prisoners, noticed that this Jewish prisoner was very tall. He's very tall, isn't he? So he shot the man in the head, killing him instantly. Ammon had two dogs, Rolf and Ralph, that he trained to tear people apart on command. Sometimes Ammon was bored, so he would go up to his balcony of his villa that overlooked the concentration camp and he would get out his rifle and he would aim his rifle at people that were either a bit slow or just for no reason aim his rifle at people and for fun would murder people with his rifle from the balcony of his villa. It's thought that he did this A out of boredom, B to instill fear into the inmates and C to assert his command and dominance over the camp. The commandant would personally make sure that beatings were brutal and tortures sadistic, often engaging in these acts himself. He would whip them, he would beat them, he would torture them till the very end of their lives. The prisoners of Poishuf were subjected to forced labour under horrendous conditions, but this forced labour was also done with basically no food rations. The prisoners were starved. So many of the prisoners were weak and malnutritioned. This meant to many health complications, including at the camp there was an outbreak of typhus, which killed hundreds. Mass executions went on at this camp. Thousands were killed under this man's command, whether it be by shooting, hanging, beating. Many different methods were used to inflict as much pain as possible on these poor innocent people. Even from its very origins, the Poishov concentration camp was built over two Jewish cemeteries as a sign of disrespect to the Jewish people. Now following the end of World War II, Ammon was captured by the Allies and put on trial. He was found guilty and sentenced to death and on September the 13th 1946, Ammon Gut was executed by hanging in Krakow, Poland. What do you guys think of this absolute abhorrent monster. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching guys. I really do appreciate you. I just want to give a shout out to my patron of the day and the patron of the day today is Ellis Osborne. Ellis, thank you so much for being a patron. I appreciate you. I appreciate all my patrons. If you'd like to become a patron, you can for as little as a pound a month. You get lots of behind the scenes and bonus stuff. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll see you very soon. Like, share, subscribe. Sweet one. Geese.